Exciting news out of Bayard this week, as economic development officials are upping efforts to promote development and creating jobs. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, the city of Bayard has been designated as the 25th leadership certified community in Nebraska by state economic development officials. The designation for smaller communities in the state provides a process for towns to identify capacity, stimulate focused planning, and utilize technology to promote development and create jobs. Nebraska Department of Economic Development Representative Brittany Hardin presented the certification during Tuesday night's city council meeting. Not only are we encouraging you guys to sustain the great quality of life that you're already known for, we're also here to help create economic opportunities for you, whether that is in um, helping to improve your facade in the, your downtown district, um, growing businesses, recruiting new businesses to come in, and then also to just collaborate between public and private partnerships. Designations as leadership certified communities last for five years and includes annual reviews of websites, and officials also say it's helpful selling the area as local leaders recruit new businesses to their communities. Well, big news in sports yesterday as it was announced that longtime Scotts Bluff football coach Joe Benson is stepping down. I've been doing this for a long time and uh, it, it is taxing. Uh, there'll be a lot of times in the summer five o'clock you got to run down and see a kid uh you got extra paperwork to do some you got a commitment here a commitment there and uh after a while it just gets that part of it gets to be no fun now obviously being around the kids is a lot of fun but some of the other stuff i can do without benson has spent the past 12 seasons as head coach had nine straight playoff appearances and came up one game short of a class b championship this fall after a season ending loss to omaha scott chris cattrell will have a lot more on the story tomorrow at the sports desk well, straight ahead, Bill Boyer will be in with your midweek weather forecast. I'll be back with that right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. My big secret for designing a quality kitchen on a budget is J&K Cabinetry. They have all the great standard features that my clients love. Solid wood doors and frames, soft closed doors and drawers, dovetail joinery. The quality is amazing. J&K Cabinetry has 17 beautiful locations, sells directly to designers, contractors, and dealers, and provides plenty of options for a semi-custom look. But the most important thing is having a satisfied client and just seeing how much they love their kitchen. J&K Cabinetry, a new kitchen around you. ZM Lumber in Scotts Bluff, your local headquarters for J&K Cabinetry. Pool together all your money with a friend and invest in two Arby's French Dip and Swiss sandwiches for just $6. It's the perfect get-rich-quick-on-sandwiches scenario. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, we'll take a look at skies that are going to be partly to mostly cloudy this evening. Uh, we'll clear off a little bit overnight. Temps are going to fall into the 20s. Uh, a very nice day coming tomorrow after really another nice night tonight. A pretty pleasant evening and a nice night out there. Great day tomorrow, our warmest day of the week coming tomorrow. Some rain and snow possible Friday morning for a brief period of time. It's not going to be anything probably to impact travel or uh, anything like that. Just a light dusting. We'll show you that here in a moment. Otherwise, we're going to be dry this weekend. Hit 47 yesterday. Even though that's cooler than where we've been, that's still 7 degrees above normal uh, for this time of year. Nothing in the rain gauge. Uh, we're short uh, a tenth of an inch now uh, for the month and year as we've only had one one hundredth. So I told you we were still above normal. We've been above normal really for the last week uh, almost here across the region. Look at some of these highs. Uh, when Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we've been 
well above normal. Uh, so you can see things are uh, very, very mild. Temps in the 50s and 60s out there, uh, some 20 degrees above normal um, Friday of last week. So we've been above normal for six straight days. That's gonna continue for probably another six or more. Our six to 10 day outlook shows above normal temperatures here in our area, but we are starting to see this uh, precip band maybe moving a little further to the north in our six to 10 day period, where hopefully we're gonna get a shot at getting some rain because boy, it has been dry out there. No precip coming tomorrow, partly cloudy skies as you get on the bus, about 27, heading home at 54. May not even need that jacket tomorrow as uh, conditions look very nice out there. We're in the 30s across the Cornusker State right now, 27 though in Norfolk, it's 40. Scott's Bluff, 42 right now in Denver. As we take a look here across our region, we're mostly in the upper 30s to a few low 40s out there. Wheatland, the warmest location at 45. Sydney, 34, one of the coldest ones that we can find on the map. Winds are much better today. Uh, they continue to stay in check. A little bit of a south southeasterly component to them. Up in the 5 to 10, close to 15 mile an hour range. So our wind chills are a little colder uh, tonight as well. We have 26 right now for a wind chill in Sydney, 31 up in Shadron for wind chills. Let's take a look at Futurecast now. There's those winds out of the southeast. They've been a little strong, especially in the sand hills. They will die out this evening. And again, we're going to see a mix of some clouds and stars overnight, primarily partly cloudy skies. The, high, the clouds that we do have will be high level clouds and certainly nothing in the way of uh, significance. 29 tonight in Ogallala. It's going to be 30 in Shadron, 28 in Cheyenne for a low tonight here in our area, right around 30 degrees uh, overnight. Uh, so it's still above normal for those lows. Tomorrow looks like our warmest day of the week coming. We're going to have a few down sloping winds off to our west. They should stay confined to the high country. We'll see a mix of clouds in here tomorrow. Now, look, notice late tomorrow night, here comes some of that snow. And as we get towards early Friday morning, it'll start to move across our region. You notice how it was more organized off to our north. It's going to start to fall apart. And I think by the time it gets across our area, just some scattered rain and snow showers right along that uh, frontal system, and then they're gonna move out and uh, it's gonna be uh, a partly cloudy day again later in the day on Friday. Highs tomorrow, wow, look at this across the region. We're gonna be near 60 in a few areas. Very nice weather out there. And uh, again, upper 50s here all across our region. Let's take a look at our forecast then. For tonight, partly cloudy skies, 26 for a low. Tomorrow, downright nice, a beautiful day to get out and do something, mild conditions. 58 degrees, winds only at 10 to 15, very nice conditions. Those rain and snow showers come in play on Friday morning. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with sunshine through the weekend. Temps right around 50 all the way through Wednesday of next week. Again, that's some 5 to 10 uh, plus degrees above normal uh, all the way through that uh, forecast period. Uh, even after tomorrow, where we're going to be close to 15 to 20 degrees above normal. Very nice weather conditions continue for the next seven days and really for the next seven to 10 days before things start to maybe change as we get towards the end of next week. You never know when you'll need an extra French dip in Swiss. It could get lost in the car or eaten by a confused stranger. Stuff happens to sandwiches. That's why Arby's made you two French dip in Swiss sandwiches for just six bucks. For only $6, you'll always have a spare French dip in Swiss until you eat it. You'll never have to be afraid. Arby's, we have the meat. Care Heilbrunn State Farm Agent is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Care Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes high performance lubricants and fuel improvers. We've been helping customers improve their operations for over 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and cut out the middleman and offer excellent service and value. Our products last longer and work better so that you spend less time maintaining equipment and more time making money. Whether you're in a factory, farm, fleet, or food processing facility, Hydrotex can help you. Visit hydrotexoil.com or call 308-635-8162.
The leaves are turning and the temperatures are cooling, so it's time to come harvest the deals at the Vieira Wireless Fall Savings Sale. Right now, get your family high-speed, truly unlimited mobile data for just 35 bucks per line with four lines. Prices have never been lower for unlimited data. Plus, trade in your current phone and get up to $500 off the latest iPhone and Samsung models. Those are incredible savings on the most popular and advanced smartphones. Don't miss out on our fall savings sale. Hurry into Viero today. Welcome back. Two people have been arrested following a sizable drug bust on Highway 71 Tuesday afternoon. 43-year-old Scott Beery of Scotts Bluff and 26-year-old Ramona Prime of Bridgeport are charged with possession of meth with intent to deliver, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of marijuana more than one ounce, less than one pound. Troopers stopped Beery after seeing him turn around before approaching a checkpoint. After pulling him over, the trooper found 13 grams of methamphetamine, more than two ounces of marijuana, syringes, and other drug paraphernalia. Both were arrested and booked into the Scotts Bluff County Detention Center. Now, when Prime was strip searched, trail staff located three baggies with suspected meth residue in her sock. Well, economic development officials in Alliance are working to try to soften the blow when the local Kmart closes in March with the loss of 30 jobs and reduction of retail diversity in the community. The Box Beat Development Corporation is one of the organizations working on the issue, and director Chelsea Harrian is hoping for expanded retail offerings, not only by mom-and-pop establishments, but also through the local Shopco, Shopco hometown store. Harrian says online shopping has been the primary reason for the loss of local retail businesses in rural communities, and she's hopeful that the sales tax on internet purchases will help level the playing field and get more consumers to consider shopper, shopping locally. And Eastern Wyoming College has announced that they will use current employees to fill vacant positions and promote within the organization. Current Vice President for Academic Services Roger Humphrey will take over the reins of student services as the new Vice President for Student Services. Heidi Edmonds, who has served as the Dean of Instruction, will be the new Vice President for Academic Services. And the position of Student Success Center Director will be filled by Julie Sherbin. These organizational charges were approved by the EWC Board of Trustees at the regular meeting on January 8th, and the changes are effective immediately. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet their featured Pet of the Week. Stick around, KNB.TV News will be back right after the break. Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. When we transform Nebraska corn into ethanol, it doesn't disappear from the food supply. It just takes a little detour. Ethanol is made from the starch. The rest of the corn becomes livestock feed to create meat and dairy products, corn oil, sweetener, and other food ingredients, and maybe a little carbon dioxide to make your soft drinks fizzy. Homegrown ethanol helps satisfy America's hunger for energy and the world's appetite for feed and food. Nebraska's Family Corn Farmers, sustaining innovation. With the new year comes resolutions. Complete your resolution to replace your windows by calling Renewal by Anderson. And right now is your last chance to buy 2019 windows at 2018 prices. Plus, pay nothing until 2020. That's right. You will get 20% off every window and door, plus no money down, no interest, and no payments for 12 months. And free window diagnosis, free in-home estimate, and free removal and disposal of your old windows. Hurry. This offer ends February 15th. Call 472-2199 to take advantage of this offer before the 2018 prices are gone. Welcome back. For this week's featured pet of the week, we meet Mighty Mouse. He's a furry feline with a whole lot of love to give. Ah. 
We have Mighty Mouse here. He is a five-year-old adult neutered male. He's a gray and white tabby cat. He is awesome. He's um, kind of rugged looking because he's had a rugged life. He was actually trapped um, over in Terrytown, and we got him all fixed up. He had a really bad ear mites, a really bad ear infection, but he's good to go now. Um, he does great with dogs, great, great with other cats. Um, he does really well with kids. Um, he doesn't like to be picked up and carried around by adults, but little kids he tolerates very well. Um, he could be an indoor cat or an indoor outdoor cat or even a barn cat if you're looking for somebody to mice or um, keep mouse mice out of your garage. His adoption fee right now is $30. Um, our cats are on special through the month of January because we have a lot. Um, he's neutered, up to date on all vaccinations, including rabies. Um, he'll receive a microchip before he leaves as well as a sample bag of food. So Mighty Mouse is a complete package. He's friendly. Um, he has such a big heart. Uh, like I said, he's kind of a rugged looking guy, but that kind of adds to his mystique. He's, he's perfect and he could fit into any family. To meet Mighty Mouse or any of the cats and dogs they have available for adoption, you can head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society Monday through Saturday during normal business hours. Well, straight ahead, we'll take a peek at what's happening around the region on the community calendar. We'll have that right after the break. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged, fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Visit the experts at Paul Reed Construction, your authorized Big Green Egg dealer. It's a friendly town, that's for sure. Not too big, not too small. Seems like everybody knows your name. We stick together through thick and thin. That's the way it's always been, cause where we live. Let's take a peek at what's happening on your midweek community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. The kids need to run off some energy after school or too cold to play outside? Bring them to Planet Bounce at the Monument Mall. With many bounce houses, a concession stand, and the largest redemption arcade around, Planet Bounce has hours of fun. Call today to schedule your birthday party, or ask Ron about renting a bounce house for your party, office party, or corporate event. Open Wednesday through Sunday, Planet Bounce Family Fun Center at the Monument Mall. When was the last time you were at Teacher's Corner? We're now TC and more. Come see what you've been missing. Clothing. Jewelry. Flags. Home decor. Toys. American made. Stop in and see what you've been missing. TC and more, downtown Scotts Bluff. It is never too early to start planning for retirement, and working with an experienced financial advisor can put you on the right path. At Platte Valley Investment Center, our team of financial advisors will work with you every step of the way to maximize your retirement income. Call me, Jody Rosiska, or Rick Morehouse, financial advisors, to set up your free no-obligation consultation. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. And finally tonight, today marked the first day of the 2019 Nebraska Legislature, and it was a busy day in the unicameral. State senators that were elected or re-elected during the November general election were officially sworn in by Nebraska Chief Justice Mike Hevekin, and afterwards, there was the election of officers and committee chairs for the new season. Gearing Senator John Stinner was re-elected as chair of the Appropriations Committee, and he says he looks forward to serving Nebraska on this committee for another term. I will promise, if you support me again, um, I will pledge that I'll always listen. I'll work to seek consensus and compromise when necessary to develop good public policy. And I will continue to promote the legislature as an independent branch. Thank you. Bayard Senator Steve Erdman also ran for chairperson of the Committee on Committees. I served on that committee the first year I was here in 17. I believe that the committee process is very important and it's very vital that we get the right committee makeup so that we get bills to the floor that make sense for all Nebraskans. Erdman was defeated by District 4 Senator Robert Hinkleman by about a 3-2 to two margin. This 90-day legislative session will focus on reducing property taxes, talking about legalizing medical marijuana, addressing prison overcrowding, and expanding a tax break to military retirees. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time. <laughs>